In this video, I'm going to address one of the query raised by the subscriber. Uh, so I have posted this video power platform CLIX XRM toolbox tool. Now here, Santan has raised a request that uh, he has requested basically say, can you create a video about deploying solutions from one environment to other environment using CLI command line interface? and deployment settings files connection and connection references okay so so this is on basis of that so what we are going to do we are going to uh, create that uh, cli command and then transfer the solution from dev to the prod environment using command line interface only okay so just to set the stage i'll be assuming that there will be a simple application okay so let's assume there is a simple flow so in dev over here you see it's in girish's dev environment and power apps girish's dev environment so what i'm going to do i'm going to power apps going to the solution and then from the solution i'm gonna uh, click on say uh, new solution and i'll call this as say maybe Sentan. okay and i'll put a publisher as myself and i'll click on create so i'm creating a new solution and then from within this solution i'm going to uh, add the power automate flow now let's assume you are in power automate interface and you go to my flows and then say you create one say uh, instant cloud flow okay so you create an instant cloud flow which will be part of that solution so it's a manual trigger flow and then i'll call it as some kind of flow okay and i'll click on create now here uh, it's a manual trigger flow uh, i'm not going to put anything fancy i'll just say send email uh, as an action and send in email v2 and i'll say to girish multiple at 0k ml dot on microsoft.com okay and i'll just set this and i'll say hello cli video so this is let's assume this is like a simple application which you're gonna uh, which is simple power automate flow which will be part of your solution and i'll just click on close and click on save and maybe i'll just open the email and then see whether it has triggered that email or not once it is executed so it's still saving and now it has saved so you'll click on test and manual test click on test and run the flow so once the flow runs uh, we'll assume that uh, this uh, application is successful and then we're going to package that solution and then uh, uh, port into a different environment okay so as you see over here uh, i have received an email and then this is all good okay so let's assume this is a solution and now we have created a solution named as santan and then here we are going to add existing automation cloud flow and the cloud flow which we have created so let me search that so that's santan and i can see santan flow i'm going to add this in the solution okay so now i have a solution which has one flow in it and also this is sending out an email so we are going to click on advance and add required objects and i'll click on add required objects and say okay and then it is going to add the connection reference so i have a cloud flow i have a connection reference okay so now all good what we are going to do we are not going to do uh, an export a solution from here rather we are going to use power platform cli for that so looks good to me now first thing what you need to do is like you need to open powershell okay so you need to have the pack cli command installed uh, in my case uh, i'll just open powershell and i'm going to run this as an admin run as administrator click on yes so i'm going to show it to you from the start okay now i'm just going to cls and now the first thing what you need to do you need to first set the author auth profile right so i'm gonna just type back auth list just to show you there's nothing over here okay so let's assume it's a brand new environment or brand new powershell and then you're not uh, added anything over here so pack auth list is nothing so first you need to establish connection between the dev and then the prod okay so in order to do that we need to use pack auth create command now pack auth create command uh, will take some parameters okay so i'm just put dash dash name and then i will put it as girish dev so this is just a label okay this is just a label dash dash environment 
And now the environment, now for that, you need to go to the Power Platform Admin Center and go to PPAC and get the environment URL for your dev environment. So if I go to the environment, go to the Keresh dev environment, click on detailed view and copy this URL, okay? So I'm just copying this URL over here and this is my dev environment URL. I remove the forwards, uh, the slash, second slash. Okay, so that's it. And then what it will go, it will uh, try authenticating you. So now, as you see over here, this is this authentication is successful. Okay. So now, if I do a pack auth list, I will see the one authentication connection. That's for the dev environment. Now, similarly, we are going to do for the prod environment as well. But in order to do for the prod environment, we need to first go to the prod environment and then grab the URL. So go to Girish prod and get the URL. So I'm going to copy this uh, URL for the prod environment. Again, go back to your PowerShell uh, pack auth create. I'll, I'll just take that same example so but instead of dev i'm going to put prod and in the environment i'm just going to remove this and paste this remove the slash and that's it So now it is authenticated successfully. So let me clear the screen and then run pack auth list again. Now I should see two connections, one for the dev, one for the prod. And remember, this is important. This is very much important. Which connection is active over here? Okay. Now in my case, prod is active, but I want to make dev as active because first what I'm going to do, I'm going to export the solution from dev and then import in prod. Okay, so how do I make dev connection active? I want to see the star over here, not here in prod. Okay, so in order to do that, there is a command pack auth select dash dash index. And then you say which index you want to be active, one or two. Two is already active. I want to make one active. So pack auth select dash dash index one, and that's it. So now your dev connection would be active. Okay. Just to verify pack auth list again, run that command and then just see whether the star has moved from two to one. Yes, it has done all good. Okay. So this is how you basically first establish a connection. Right. Now we have created one solution, right? Uh, over here. So in the dev, we have created a solution, right? Now this solution is uh, named as Santan, right? Now if I click on edit details over here, here you will see this name, send that. Now this is the name which you need to pick. Now in my case, display name and name is same. But in your case, if it is some big name, then make sure that you pick this name, not the display name, okay? So this is very much important uh, when we uh, write a command. So let's write a command, uh, which is basically pack solution export, okay? Now, just to show you in the production environment, if I go into the production environment, if I go into the solution over here, now we have yet not imported and that's why in the solutions over here was managed or unmanaged you, you will not be able to see this uh, Santan solution in the production right so what we're going to do we are going to first uh, 
write a command and the command is very simple very much simple it says pack solution export so we're going to export something and then put into the path okay so the path is basically uh, let me put it in my c drive and see what happens okay so i'll just say send then solution dot zip okay so this is the name this is the target name you can put any name i'll just put sentan solution dot zip what are you going to export i'm going to export a solution name dash dash name and that solution name is sentan right from where i where did i get the sentan name is from here right from here this name okay so this is very much important okay once you're done with that then i'm gonna uh, put dash dash whether it should be managed or unmanaged so oh, it has to be managed so manage true so dash dash manage true and what are you going to include with it okay now i'm going to include a general component general component now if you read the documentation clearly it says so let me show you the documentation the pack solution documentation and uh, if you go to microsoft learn you will see pack solution documentation pack solution export from here this is that command right and you have dash dash include general however you can add something else as well so if you see over here uh, dash dash include it has a switch dash i which says which setting should you include in the solution being exported now it can be general it can be isv config marketing but at least one should be there now if you want to add more like if you want to add isv config or marketing or sales or email tracking or customization or calendar so let's assume if i want to take calendar and customization as well then what i'm going to do i'm going to say general comma calendar comma customization okay but in my case i just don't want to complicate further i just want a simple power automate flow to be shipped from one environment to another so that's why dash dash include is general now uh, let me show you uh, my c drive so if i just click on c drive now here in the c drive uh, there is nothing of zip so if i run this command let's see what happens so i'm just running this command now Now it is connected to the garage dev environment it is starting the solution export now once the solution is exported successfully then you should see sentan solution.zip as you see over here you have seen sentan solution.zip now why it has come because this solution export has succeeded okay very simple then the next step is to import the solution now we know the solution sentan solution.zip it is in c drive we just need to run the command right no you should not do that first you need to remember that currently the pointer is pointing to dev right so we have this pack auth list the pointer is pointing to dev now if we want to import this solution into the prod we need to first make this pointer point to the prod so that's an important step now how do we make that pointer point to prod prod you see pack auth select dash dash index and the index number is two so the star should move from one to two and again we will run the command pack auth list and the pointer is now pointed to the second connection all good now we are good now it is pointing to prod now the, then again the import solution is very uh, import solution command is very simple so we just say pack solution import dash dash path c drive and the name of the solution which we have said sentan solution dot zip so i'll just copy this sentan solution dot zip and that's it so once this is done it will connect to this environment and then after a while you will see in production environment now there is no sentan solution but then you will see sentan solution shortly so let me see what's happening the import process might take some time as our solution is very simple there are only two components one is flow and one is connection reference so it should be pretty much quick uh, and but once it is done you should be able to see the solution imported in the prod environment 
So let me do a quick refresh. And also remember we have put uh, the solution as managed. Okay, so it should come in manage. And as you see over here, Santan solution has come 13 seconds ago, and this is Girish prod. So let me show you this command line. Here is a solution imported successfully. Translated labels could not be imported because I have enabled multilingual capability in my tenant. That's why I see this warning, but that's fine. Solution is imported successfully. Here you will see Santan solution, and within Santan solution, there is a cloud flow and connection references. So let's see whether that exists or not. Yes, it exists. Go to the Power Automate section, go to the My Flows, and now in prod environment you should be able to see the santan flow now let me run this now this time i'm going to run this flow from prod environment so if i run this flow it will ask me to validate the connection so sign in so it is validating the connection all good click on continue and run the flow now i'm running this flow from the production environment so the first one we run from the dev environment now the second one is from the production environment now as you see over here this email has come so that means our solution has been successfully shipped from dev to prod and we got this response also in the other section as you see over here power apps check on your Santan solution is complete so what it has done during this process it has check uh, put that solution checker uh, executed and it searches it will give you uh, information about any common solution issues or resolution uh, if it exists uh, and then your entire solution is like all validated so that nothing bad goes into the production environment so that's it folks what we have done we have successfully used pack cli power platform command cli to export a solution from one environment and import into another environment now once you do once you get a uh, hold of this process a lot of things can be simplified further like say you need not rely on manual deployment and this gives path to uh, application lifecycle management solution deployment using pipelines so you can even draft your own pipelines rather than relying on what is available out of the box and then you can uh, draft your own solution for that pipeline so I have given you very simple example, but then this can go very complicated as well. You can have multiple power apps, you can have multiple connection references, and we can have model driven app and various uh, web API and web resources within your solution. And you can design your own solution workflow process accordingly. That's it, folks. Thanks uh, uh, for watching and thanks, Santan, for the question. Thank you.